Hi everyone, I'm Sarah and this is Budget Sew, where we create stylish, fashionable looks as inexpensively as possible. Today, I'm going to show you my fabric haul from Fabricland Online. Just a quick note before we get started, today I'm wearing Simplicity 6082. The link to the video with that dress is right here at the top of the screen. I was really pleased with my last two orders from Fabricland Online, so I placed another order. The link to the video with my last fabric haul is right here at the top of the screen. My past orders were exactly as advertised. The fabric came in the full length and not cut into smaller pieces, and the notions were at a fantastic price. So this time, I placed my biggest order yet. I try not to pay full price for fabric and sewing supplies, so I was looking for a sale. At the top of the fabriclandonline.com website, there was a banner that said, save 25% off everything that is not on sale. Perfect timing. The first fabric that I ordered was this cobalt blue boiled wool blend. It's 60% polyester, 40% wool, and 115 centimeters wide. The website said that it's a medium weight boiled wool coating suitable for cool temperatures. I bought two meters at $6 a meter, regularly $20 a meter. When I received the order and measured the fabric, I discovered they sent me about two and a half meters, so I have lots of fabric to work with. I'm going to use this fabric for hats. The first hat pattern is Butterick 3055. I bought Butterick 3055 for $2.99 at Value Village Thrift Stores. This hat pattern was published in 1993, and the pattern envelope includes patterns and instructions for nine different hats, and each hat is offered in three sizes. Small, 22 inches or 56 centimeters, medium, 23 inches or 59 centimeters, and large, 24 inches or 61 centimeters. This pattern reminds me of a denim hat with a pink flower that I had as a child. I wore it all summer long, and even on our family trip to Disney in Florida. You may remember this pattern from my Sew Along to View Bee's hat. The link to the Sew Along to Butterick 3055 is right here at the top of the screen. I thought that it would be fun to use this pattern again, but this time I'm going to sew View C with the ties. Then there's Simplicity 9749. I bought Simplicity 9749 at Value Village Thrift Stores for $1.99. This pattern is a Mrs. Men's and Teens Outerwear Accessories pattern. View A is an unlined vest with patch pockets. View B is a beret with an elasticized edge. The hat in View C has the top tied with a braid. The hat in View D is in three colors with a turn up band. View E is a headband with a Velcro closure. The neck gaiter, view F, has turned and stitched edges. The mittens in view G have elasticized wrists and contrast tops. And scarf H is in three colors with a self fringe. The recommended fabrics are soft wool melton, fleece, and double faced fleece. I'm going to make the hat from view B with the elasticized inner edge. Then I have Vogue 9235. This is a Vogue accessories pattern that was published in 2016. I found this pattern in the discard bin for $5.99 at Fabricland. This is a Catherine Brenn Vogue pattern designer original for four unlined hats. Hat A has a rolled band and self fabric trim. Boiled wool is the recommended fabric. Hat B has a self fabric flower and contrast petal. The suggested fabric for this hat is Angora knit. Hat C, the beret, has leather accents and should be made from wool knit and the contrast should be lambskin. 
Hat D has multiple crown layers and hand stitching on the outer seams. The recommended fabric for this hat is boiled wool. Hat D reminds me of an evergreen tree covered in snow, about to tip over from the weight. My last hat pattern is McCall's 7805. This fashion accessories pattern from 1995 includes instructions and pattern pieces to make hats A through D, a reversible hooded scarf, headband, neck cowl, scarf, and mittens. The hats fit head sizes small, 22 inches, medium 23 inches, and large 24 inches. The suggested fabrics for hats A through D, the hooded scarf, headband, neck cowl, scarf, and mittens are sweatshirt fleece, soft wool melton, and polar fleece. Hats C and D also in fake fur. The headband is for stretch knits only. I'm going to make hat C with matching mittens. The next fabric is this Galaxy 12. It's 65% polyester, 35% cotton, and 115 centimeters wide. The website said that the fabric is a medium to heavy weight and is suitable for children's clothing, ladies' skirts, and jackets. It can also be used for lab coats. It was originally $16 a meter, but I paid $7 a meter. This twill fabric is perfect for pants, so I bought it in four colors. Black, royal, navy blue, and forest. The first pair of pants that I'm going to make are Vogue 1051. You may remember these pants from my McCall's craft video, where I made salt dough jewelry and a leaf bowl. The link to that DIY is right here at the top of the screen. I also made up these pants years ago to wear on a trip to England. They are super comfortable. This is an Alice and Olivia Vogue American designer pant pattern that was published in 2008. I bought this pattern in a Vogue sewing pattern sale from Fabricland in store. At that time, Fabricland would have specific pattern brands on sale each week. For example, Vogue would be on sale one week, and then McCall's the next, and then after that, Berta, and then Simplicity, and so on. So almost every time I went into Fabricland, some patterns would be on sale. These pants have slightly flared legs, are semi-fitted through the hip, and have below waistline contour waistband with a fly zipper closing front and back welt pockets, and back button loops. View A has contrast welts and loops, and view B has turn back cuffs. The recommended fabrics are gabardine, tropical wool, and lightweight denim, and the contrast should be made from silk satin. I'm also going to make the pants from McCall's 5008 from 2005. McCall's 5008 is a lined jacket and top skirt and pants pattern. The line jacket has princess seams, front flaps, stand up collar and top stitching detail. Lined top B has princess seams, a back separating zipper, self shoulder straps and purchase trim. The bias flared skirt is mid length with a side zipper, yoke and self facing. The pants, view D, have front and back darts, back zipper, and no waistband. The recommended fabrics are silk jacquards, wool crepe, gabardine, silk, linen, and linen blends. I bought this pattern at Value Village thrift stores. I'm also going to make the pants from Simplicity 5812. I bought this pattern from Good Value Thrift Store in downtown London, Ontario. Simplicity 5812 was published in 1973 and is a vest, blouse, skirt, and pants designer fashion pattern. The blouse with a front button closing has a collar, long set in sleeves, gathered to button cuffs, and an optional purchased belt. The top stitched unlined vest with front button closing has V-shaped neckline and button trimmed patch pockets. The skirt and pants have a back zipper and a waistline casing. When I make up these pants, I'm going to move the zipper from the back to the front. 
The suggested fabrics are lightweight wool, wool flannel, tweed, houndstooth check, double knit gabardine, denim duck, chino canvas, poplin piquet, silk linen, and linen. The blouse also in crepe, crepe back satin, printed silk, sura, chalice, jersey, and cotton sateen. These pants look so comfortable with the elastic waist, and I can't wait to make them up. The final pattern is Vogue 2920. It's a Donna Karen Vogue American designer jacket and pants pattern. This close fitting jacket has a pleated front with a front band, princess seams, and the fronts are draped around the shoulders with the neck forming a flower at the right shoulder. It has two piece sleeves, self fabric fringe, and top stitching trim. The pants have a flared leg, side front slanted pockets with button tabs, a yoke with a front welt pocket, an invisible zipper, and back tabs with button trim. I love the giant flower on the shoulder. It's such an interesting detail. And I think the pants would look fabulous in twill. The next items that I bought were appliques. I wanted to add these to my pants and jackets that I'm sewing. The nautical one would look great on the front of a jacket. And this baby polar bear would look cute on the back pocket of a pair of jeans. I could even add them to purses and dresses. The other two appliques are this Dalmatian with a butterfly on her nose and this running fox. The appliques were 25% off, so they ranged in price from $4.50 to $7.50. I also bought some lace seam binding in black and dark navy. I bought eight packages in black and eight packages in dark navy. Now, I didn't buy all this seam binding for myself. Four packages of each color are for my mom, and the remaining four of each color are for me. The seam binding was $3.90, but since they were on sale, I paid $2.93 each. The next item I bought was this two inch emerald green blanket binding. It's 100% polyester and 4.5 yards long. I bought the blanket binding because it was such a pretty color so I don't have a project in mind yet. I also bought a package of pink blanket binding for my mom. She's going to replace the worn out blanket binding on one of her wool blankets. This blanket binding was $8.50 originally, but I paid $6.38 with a 25% off discount. Then I bought some surging thread. I bought two green, four black, four red, four navy, four medium blue, and five white spools for a total of 23 spools to use on my new Singer S100 serger. Each spool is 1500 meters long and 100% polyester. Each spool was priced at $2.99, but with a 25% off discount, I paid $2.24 each. The last item I bought was a package of 100 of the 38 millimeter fuchsia pearl pins. They're rust resistant and in a stackable box. The original price of the pins was $5.29, but since they were 25% off, I paid $3.97. I bought one box for me and one box for my mom. I hope you enjoyed my fabric haul from fabriclandonline.com. Please like and share this video with your friends and family. I love sharing my new, vintage, and out of print sewing patterns, and my tips, tricks, quick fixes, and even my mistakes when sewing along with you. I also love sharing my wonderful fabric finds that I thrifted from charity shops, as well as brand new fabric online and in store. If you'd like to see more from Budget Sew, please subscribe and press the bell so you receive a notification when I release a new video. If you'd like to stay up to date with Budget Sew, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Budget Sew. Thanks for watching. See you next time.